It took only three minutes for the muscle in Kiyu's left leg to completely loosen up. Like Tofu, the sensation of her skin was smooth and soft in Su Young's hands. I will now begin to extract the poison. Su Young showed her a needle as small as a strand of hair in his hands. The pleasant expression on Ki Yu's dazed face instantly froze at the sight of the needle. W, what are you going to sew with tea then? She asked Su Young, pointed at her left leg with a smile on his face. However, that handsome smile was more like the devil's grin in Ki Yu's eyes. Wait, is that really the only way? How else am I going to extract the poison? He replied to her question with another question. Close your eyes. You won't even feel it. Kiyu hastily closed her eyes, but her body wouldn't stop trembling. Suddenly, a hand patted her head, giving her a sense of security and warmth, and her body stopped trembling. That it was at this moment, the needle between Su Young's fingers flickered. A tiny hole that could not be seen with just the bare eyes opened up in Kiyu's left thigh, and some sort of white smoke began escaping through that hole, creating a small cloud of mist above her legs. The moment the mist appeared, Su Yang moved his lips towards the hole on her thighs without hesitation and began sucking. Ah, wah! The unexpected sucking sensation on her thighs caused Ki Yu to snap open her eyes. When she saw Su Yang's lips on her thigh, her face exploded with redness, nearly losing conscious from shock. However, despite his shameless and seemingly vulgar actions, Ki Yu did not kick him away and allowed him to continue. Her breathing quickened and her eyes flickered with desire or lust. Meanwhile, Su Yang was fully focused on extracting the poison through the tiny hole in her thigh. His robes were soaked in sweat, and his body burned from the poison he absorbed. Every part of his body was screaming in pain, and because of his low cultivation base, it only made it harder for him to subdue the poison within his body. Even if he wished, he simply wasn't in a position to enjoy the soft sensation on his lips dot at this moment. The only thing that could be heard in this small and quiet room was Ki Yu's heavy breathing and low moans. A few minutes felt like a few hours for the two, one embraced by pleasure and one enduring pain. When only a few seconds of the ten minutes were left, Su Yang finally released his lips dot. Su Yang coughed up a mouthful of black blood the moment his lips separated from Ki Yu's soft skin. His complexion turning ashen right after dot, Su Yang wiped the black blood from the corner of his lips and smiled. It's been a long time since I last sweated like this during a treatment. Su Yang collapsed on the bed beside Ki Yu right after his sentence, his conscience barely awake. Are you okay? Ki Yu cried out loud in alarm. Luckily, the poison had yet to spread to other areas and only occupied your left leg, so I was able to extract it without any problem. But being only at the third level of elementary spirit realm, the process had drained my very limited profound key quickly. I am only tired from exhausting my profound key. Let me sleep for a bit and I will be fine. Don't forget the conditions. Su Yang fell asleep after those words, dumbfounding Ki Yu. She didn't know what to do, but since he said that he would be fine, she felt relieved dot after taking a moment to organize herself. Ki Yu helped Su Yang by adjusting his awkward sleeping position and covered him with a blanket before quietly leaving dot. It was already the next morning by the time Su Yang woke up. He sat up and looked at the blanket covering him. How caring of her! He smiled. Although he had expected that it would be somewhat troublesome to heal Ki Yu, he did not expect that it would have been that challenging with his low cultivation base. I really need to increase my cultivation base. But before I obtain that pure spirit Yang and cleanse the impurities within my body, I need to get used to this body and its insignificant cultivation base. Su Yang left the bed to take a quick shower. Afterward, he sat back on his bed in the lotus position, deep within his mind. Countless cultivation techniques he had learned from his previous life appeared one by one. Su Yang wasn't just a playboy in his previous life. He was also a cultivator and a doctor, so he has many resources at his disposal. Celestial Body Refining Scripture One of the seven heavenly sublime scripture obtained from the heavenly emperor's treasury in his previous life. In this world, where the strong devour the weak, being naive and inexperienced is not an excuse, but a weakness. If one cannot overcome that weakness, they will only be devoured by the strong. The disciples there did not like the sight of a small girl getting taken advantage of, but none of them have any real reason to stop them either. In this sect, disciples are more like rivals to each other than friends. Su Yang wasn't able to cultivate this celestial body refining scripture because he had obtained it too late 
and had already refined his body. Not only did I steal his daughter's body and heart, but I also obtained his favorite cultivation technique. If the Heavenly Emperor is still alive, I should avoid him at all cost. He closed his eyes, and he began reciting the celestial body, refining scripture within his head. Consume the universe, refine the body, achieve an immortal physique. The celestial body, the celestial body refining scripture was a technique that cultivated one's body, their physique, and one's cultivation. In order to achieve the celestial body, he must consume things with profound key and refine it as his own, tempering his cultivation base and body simultaneously. There were two primary paths of training to become an immortal. The first was in key refining, refining profound key. The majority of those who trained to become an immortal chose this path. This path allowed one to use many powerful techniques, control gravity, soar in the sky, and even change the weather. In other words, it was a profound and glamorous path. The other path was in body refining, refining one's physical body. It is said that body refining is at least a few dozen times more difficult than key refining, where one has to endure unimaginable pain and torture their own body until it breaks for little result. However, enduring such a torture would allow them to move mountains with bare hands, change terrains, even poke holes in stars with mere fingers. Ordinarily, one would choose either key refining or body refining, never both due to the unimaginable amount of time it would consume to train in both. The celestial body refining scripture, however, allowed one to cultivate in both key refining and body refining sententiously, a heaven-defying technique. Suddenly, Su Yang's body began turning red, looking as though he was being roasted in a fire. His body temperature reached nearly 150 Celsius within minutes, and a burning smell began emitting from underneath him. He was burning the bed with his body temperature alone. Dot Su Yang was using the three season snake's poison he had contained within his body to temper his body, something he had decided to do after seeing Kiyu. Even if he does not have a partner for dual cultivations, there are many other ways to cultivate. While it is not as pleasurable as dual cultivation, where he can enjoy the embrace of another, this method of cultivation is still exercised upon by the majority of the world and is even more beneficial than dual cultivation in most scenarios. After half an hour, a refreshing feeling suddenly exploded inside Su Yang's body, cooling his burning body. He had a breakthrough, reaching the fourth level of elementary spirit realm in cultivation and the early stage of elementary spirit body refiner simultaneously.